Hi guys, this is my channel about home brewing. If you are new to this channel, links to beer and home brewing, consider becoming a subscriber to learn more with me as I explore the world of beer and home brewing. With that said, I've got mail! Thanks guys for stopping in. What I thought we're gonna do today is to open the uh, parcels and see what we have in them. Um, I have a clue, of course, what's in them. And uh, yeah, the reason I'm doing unboxing with you, it's because it's fun. Yeah, and also I need some advice from you guys. So stay on. Uh, of course, we need a beer to drink. And uh, today we're gonna have the uh, beer from the coffee mini series. This is the uh, real breakfast stout. Yeah, and if you wonder what I mean with real, why don't you check out that video. I will put a card up and a link down below to the coffee series. To the coffee series, yeah. So, beer in the glass. It's a uh, Lovely looking beer. Yeah, you can have a look at the video if you want to be a review of this beer and if you want the recipe. Mm. Still a very nice beer. Actually, I haven't sent the beers yet to. Uh, Fredrik at Café Rosterit Koppar, who uh, sponsored me with coffee. I'm uh, out of coffee, so uh, yeah, I need to send him some beers, bribe him, maybe he would send more coffee. I have another coffee beer coming up, but now I'm out of coffee. So Fredrik, if you're watching me, I need more coffee! Beautiful coffee, but it's not about this beer, but it's a very nice beer, low in uh, in ABV. So maybe that's not a spoiler, why I call it real. But anyway, uh, the recipe for that beer is in that video, and also all of my recipes will go in written form up to my Patreon site. <sighs> okay, now I'm getting a bit excited. Let's dig into the mail. So we got a knife. I got this Norwegian friend who is crazy about knives. So if he watches this, cheers Espen. So this parcel has a clucking sound to it, so you know what that means? It means beer mail or a bomb. Hope it's not a bomb. Okay. Got a note. I'll try to read it for you. Last time I've got a letter in the beer mail. I read it all, including the address, so I had to edit that out. So I won't do that today. But this is a uh, Napa from Netherlands. So my first beer from Netherlands. Holland, if you want. It's very well packed. I think it's two beers. Very good packed. We have Juicy Jackpot, Binary Brewers, XXX, New England IPA, Extremely Hoppy New England IPA, brewed with Pilsner, Pale Ale, Wheat, Flaked Oats and Flaked Wheat, No Bittering Hop, Only Whirlpool and uh, DDH. Double Dry Hop. With Citra and Mosaic, fermented with London Ale 3. This results in a super hazy tropical hop bomb with a pillowy, pillowy soft mouthfeel and low bitterness. This one is for the real hop heads. 
Okay, they're both the same. So uh, I guess one for me and one for the channel of different colors, but yeah, I guess it's just this bottle, which is black. So you want to have a look at the labels a little better. I will shoot some B-roll. Come on. So here you have the two beautiful beers. What an awesome job with the labels. The juicy jackpot. Can't wait to try them out. So I have some beers for reviewing, but uh, yeah, the hoppy ones I always push for forward. So we're gonna see them real soon. I will shield them down. I don't know if they are bottle conditioned. I have the recipe here, so uh, you will have that as well in the next time. They are bottle conditioned. So I will put them in the uh, fridge. I think there's a room in the yeast fridge. This can go in this cold fridge. Super cold. So that was the uh, beer mail from Netherlands Holland. Um, I really, maybe I should get one of those like world maps. As my channel is growing, maybe I will uh, get more beer mail from all over the world. I have received beer from uh, Norway and I have received of course beer from Sweden. I'm located in Sweden, Stockholm, Sweden by the way. And I have received beer from UK and Finland and now Netherlands, so Holland. I've actually been to uh, Netherlands this summer, in, to Amsterdam. I made a video about my trip, um, and, but just on the uh, Cologne, Köln visit. On my way home I stayed at Brussels and also at Amsterdam. If you haven't seen my Kölsch video from Cologne, Cologne? If you haven't seen my Kölsch video from Cologne, check that out. I'll put a card up to that, which also is a mini series. I really like my mini series. It's a, at least for me, it gives a bit of consistency to my videos. I think, what do you guys think? You like the uh, mini series approach? Okay, the big box. Also some papers here. Don't know if there's any like personal stuff. Just oh, okay. I won't tell you what it what's in it just yet, but here's some paperwork for me to save. Are you ready? Let's dig in. Yes, I broke it. -da -da! It's a bag. Ooh. Ooh. It's uh, 25 kilograms of malt. It's balder. Pilsner malt, ecological Swedish malt, and I didn't pay for them. This is uh, sponsored. Free I love free stuff. This is from a Swedish maltry. It's a yeah, it's a Swedish mill, I think, uh, which collects grains from the. Uh, the local area where they have their mill, Varbo Kvarn, or the uh, name of the company. I will put a link, of course, to it. 
But as I said, I did not pay for this. This was kindly donated to the channel by the uh, maltery. This is quite a special malt, I've heard. This Pilsner malt type is called Balder, Balder. It's one of those older malt types. So, according to this paper, it's considered, it was in the 50s considered one of the best Swedish malts, top three, according to the paper. It's an old malt style, so uh, it ain't that refined as a new malt. So, according to this paper, it's like an 80% uh, extract. This will be um, quite interesting to brew with, because um, I haven't really tried on like an old mold style like this. So, what I'm interested in, guys, what do you think we should brew with it? I don't think we should do like a versus another Pilsner because that doesn't make sense to me. But maybe we should do like a single hop. Single hop. But maybe we should maybe do like a smash beer, uh, lager, something like that. Smash beer. And also, what would be interesting to do um, like an all Swedish beer. Using the Swedish malt, using uh, some Swedish hops. I have Swedish variety of hops which I grown myself. Um, if you haven't watched the hop growing series, put a card up to that and the link down below as usual. So, what do you guys think? What should we brew? That's two ideas for me. One is just to do like a standard lager, maybe. A Pilsner style, because I like it a little bit more hoppy, the bite, so um, I could use the uh, Swedish hop for that, not the Swedish variety, but I have my Halletau hop, which I haven't actually uh, picked yet, but I'm waiting, I'm gonna do it maybe this week, because they weren't just paper enough yet, and it's, we're getting, uh, yeah, I had one morning with frost, so... <clears throat> I'm a little bit anxious, don't want to screw that up, put so much hard work into my hops. You know that if you have seen my hop series videos. So what do you guys think? Like I said, maybe one straight up Pilsner and uh, for the other one maybe just Swedish ingredients. So the Swedish hops, no, so <laughs> the Swedish grains. And the Swedish hop variety, which I grow myself, and then we need some Swedish yeast. But there is a Swedish yeast company, which I can't remember the name of. I will send them a mail and see if they want to sponsor the channel with some yeast. If not, I will buy it myself. So guys, I think that's it. Please comment down below. What should we brew with the uh, Balder Pilsner type malt, the Swedish malt? And of course, big thanks to Varbo Kvarn. And uh, yeah, I will put a link down below to them. And also thanks to Sherd from Netherlands. Don't know how to translate your name. Sherd. That's maybe not the best way to say it in Swedish. But thanks for sending me two New England IPAs to try out. I will try to try them as quick as possible. ASAP. Yeah, I'm rambling now guys. So if you are new to this channel, please consider becoming a subscriber. And you have also my Patreon page if you want even more content and recipes and all of that and you have the back catalog of videos to check out so cheers guys and thanks for watching dr hans out